late last night we were getting a better picture as uh, Metro Police released some video of the shooter's final moments. Uh, it is gripping. It is troubling to see. It is sickening, to be honest with you. Cole Johnson's covering this aspect of the case. He's joining us live outside of the suspect's home this morning with more information about some of the final moments. Cole, what can you share with us? Well, Ben, if you take a look here at the Hale home behind me, you can see it boarded up after police were here investigating. And you talked about this newly released footage. It is chilling, and it shows those moments where Hale broke into the school before ultimately killing six people. New surveillance video shows us moment by moment what happened when Audrey Hale drove onto the campus of the Covenant School Monday morning. Outside cameras were rolling when they pulled up and parked a Honda Fit. Surveillance video at a side entrance shows the former student shooting their way into the school with two assault style rifles and a pistol. You then see how Hale got into the building by shooting at the glass and ducking in. In another angle, a closer shot of Hale reveals they were wearing some sort of vest during the attack on the Covenant School. In a view from another camera outside the children's ministry, we see flashing lights in the hallway indicating that a fire alarm may have been pulled during this assault. A lot of the video you see Hale walking around the school, almost exploring different areas, whereas other times you see the gun being aimed. Officers got to the campus not long after the first 911 calls, placed at 1013 Monday morning. They say Hale fired at arriving police vehicles from a second story window. Two of the five responding police officers ultimately shot and killed Hale on that second floor at 1027, just 14 minutes after the initial call. And a search warrant here at the Hale House on Brightwood Avenue that's only just a few miles away from the Covenant School resulted in police taking in a sawed off shotgun, a second shotgun and other evidence. And detectives say writings recovered from Hale show that this attack was calculated. As of now, we do not know a motive in this case.